not going to argue with that. I think that that Tim Witherspoon, the one who destroyed James Broad, I think that Tim Witherspoon would have given Weiler and Anthony Joshua one heck of a fight. I uh, want to talk about a uh, couple of things now that are super, super fun. One is, uh, and a lot of you guys are writing, a lot of authors are out there, and Dan Cisneros wrote a book called Matt Tales. This is a fun book. This is a fun book. I mean, Dan Cisneros uh, has been a judge with the New Mexico State Athletic Commission. He is an editor at BoxRec.com, which so many of us go on on a daily basis. Um, he is the creator and administrator of the Classic Boxing Group on Facebook, Classic Boxing Group on Facebook. He is uh, an authority on Johnny Tapia. He was uh, Johnny, a close friend of Johnny Tapia, one of the guys who was not a wild man, was one of the guys trying to tame Johnny Tapia. Well, in his Matt Tales, I mean, he's got so many incredible, and they are short chapters, easy to read stuff. I mean, and I've read most of it, and the stuff I haven't read, I'm putting on the side, because um, on the 21st, on Saturday the 21st, Queen Ronnie and I are going to Chicago to visit daughter Allie, and on the plane, I'll be reading Matt Tales. Uh, he's got stories in there about, uh, remember the sucker punch? Maybe the worst sucker punch in the history of boxing. James Butler nailing Richard Grant after Richard Grant won the decision, walked up to him, just slugged him, knocked him out. This is only maybe a week or two after 9-11. And at ringside was the chief of police in New York. Well, James Butler got himself arrested, put in jail for a few months. He got out, moved to California, where he actually moved in with none other than the, the brother um, of HBO announcer. You know, when, you know it's it just horrible to think about what he did. Um, and I'm talking about Max Kellerman's brother, Sam. Sam befriended him, took James Butler in, said, you know, you can stay here while you get a job, while you look for a place to live. And then when he just was taking advantage of it and wasn't moving out, wasn't doing all that much, Sam Kellerman asked him to leave. The crazy James Butler then basically took an axe and killed Sam Kellerman, ignited his apartment on fire. Well, James Butler, of course, he was caught. He was incarcerated. Not even for life. I believe in about 20 more years. He is up for parole. Can you believe that? Well, one of the chapters in here is about that sucker punch. Uh, James Butler sucker punching Richard Grant. He's got uh, chapters in here, fun chapters. Remember the fan man flying into the ring in Vegas during the bowl um, Evander Holyfield fight? He's got stuff in here about Mike Tyson and Mitch Green. I had just... Uh, I was commissioner at that point, and Tyson and Mitch Green got into a 3 a.m. skirmish in Harlem, New York, and Tyson punched Mitch Green, shut his left eye, in the process broke his right hand when he hit him. A uh, fun chapter on that. There's fun chapters on Bo Galata, uh, Thomas Molinatis. You remember uh, the at-the-bell shot that knocked out Marlon Starling? And Marlon didn't even remember when he awoke that he was knocked out. He said, I wasn't knocked down. He had to look at the video again to realize he was down in that fight. Well, there's a lot of boxing is weird um, stories in here that really make for a fun reading. Dan Cisneros wrote it. It's called Matt Tales. Um, there are stories on Larry Holmes in here, chapters of, on Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Vito and Affirmo, there's a, there's even a there's even a, a fun chapter on some of boxing's top nicknames. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it in here, but uh, 
What was some of your favorite nicknames? Like Big Daddy, one of my all-time favorites. The Vampire, Wilbur Johnson, and on and on and on. Uh, so this book is just packed with uh, fun stories. And uh, it really is. A, it was, it's a great read. It's going to make a great gift. You can, uh, you can find this on Amazon.com. It's called, again, Matt Tales. And I believe it's under $15. Totally worth every single penny. Matt Tales, it'll fit right nice into your boxing bookcase and everything. Uh, just a great read, uh, a great book by Dan Cisneros. So uh, once again, Matt Tales by Dan Cisneros, who uh, we're going to probably have on in a few weeks on Sirius XM's At The Fight. Now... I want to talk again, uh, actually again, 